Mexican American visual fine arts, traditions, drama, painting, music, and dance. Hello, my name is Jasmine Santiago, and I will be expressing expressing my definition of the forms we learned about. So I will start with tradition, which was one of my favorites due to the information that was given to us about Dia de los Muertos that we learned throughout the books. And um, it was one of the most, I would say, special to me because of the history that's behind every event during the celebration. Another one would be the drama um, theme, which would be the story of Gregorio Cortes, his information, and Gregorio Cortes' history is just another example that um, I learned in this class that history goes way back to years, and the reason why Mexico and the United States are no longer part of one, and it really was very emotional in a personal level because there's so much disrespect to Mexican American people. Every, the way it was delivered in the story, there was different versions of it and depending on which one you saw or you were informed about, you have different opinions on if it was fair or unfair about the way that he was treated due to him being Mexican. Gregorio Cortes is a special story because it marks the difference and the separation of Mexican-American people. Um, it shows that there was no communication because a language barrier, there was many people's lives just ended because there was there wasn't a understanding and they always accused him of being wrong and doing the wrong thing where all he wanted was to take care of his family and protect them. But in this story, it just depends where what view you see it from. And that is why I enjoyed watching the movie and reading the book because it just shows two different points of view. Uh, painting, the experience and the mural sequence that was portrayed by this special Chicano artist to develop and explain a story to the people and inform them, send a message through a mural image. Music was a memorable one because it was the most informal story about Selena and her music and the way that she did things to portray and embrace her heritage and her being Mexican and being born in Corpus Christi, she was wanting to fulfill the need to carry on her legacy and be proud of her roots image. Another one would be the music. Um, the history of music was one of my most learned lessons during this course because I learned about the music and the history of um, Mexican-American heritage. Another one yeah. would be dance. Aztecs was my favorite because... It explains the reason why they do such dances and the reason why they wear such costumes. And at first, I didn't really understand what, what, what it meant or why they did what they did. But now I am more knowledgeable of their more knowledgeable of their behavior and the reason why they wear their costumes. And what is the whole lesson behind being able to carry your culture and educate other people around you and educate the young ones was one of my favorite lessons. Another one would be Florcorico. Florcorico is really special to me because I understand what it means. Um, I'm proud to be carried under that 
wing of being proud of my heritage and embracing it and educating other people. So Corico is around my family and the reason why we do it is because we are proud of who we are and where we come from. And the different colors is such a special message to the people when you perform the dance. I enjoy the class and the history behind Mexican-American fine arts.